What is something that no matter who you are, no matter where you're from, no matter what you do, that you need no matter what? It's money. It's money. You work in order to make money uh, and you work to make money to pay for things. You have a home or an apartment. You got to pay mortgage or rent. Uh, then you got to have insurance on top of that. Uh, you drive a car, you got to put gas in it, you're supposed to have insurance on it, um, you may have a warranty on it, you don't want to walk around butt naked, you have to buy clothes to wear, clothes, shirts, underwear, socks, shoes, pants, all of that stuff. You don't want to be hungry, you have to go to the grocery store, even if you go to fast food or restaurant, none of that stuff is free. You have to pay money in order to obtain those things. So money is essential uh, in life. Um, and in the NFL, money is certainly essential as well. Now, looking at this list, and shout out to my guy Terrence that sent me this list. Um, this was one that Warren Sharp, he compiled a list of the most expensive offenses in 2022. Now, if you would have told me that the Ravens were in the top 10 of the most expensive offenses in 2022, I would have told you, you don't know what you're talking about. That, that is not true. That, no, not real. But I would have been a dummy. Because they are ranked eighth in mo most expensive offenses in 2022. And if you would have asked me, like, off the top of your head, what do you think the Ravens offense is ranked when it comes to spending money? I would have probably told you like 16 or lower, like around like from 16 to like 22, probably around there. But I would have been dead wrong. So um, we're going to look at this list. But before we look at this list, let me tell you a little quick story about money, because, <laughs> again, money is it's involved in so much that we do in life. About two months ago. Y'all know King Sid. A lot of y'all know King Sid. Uh, he's from down here, South Florida. Uh, he makes a lot of crazy videos. I don't really watch the channel because it's not for me. Uh, that's obviously not a diss to him, but a lot of stuff that he does on it is it's not for me. But I was watching uh, a video where he was at a mall down here, and he was walking around with the, uh, the fake little Dirk. All these people following and stuff, all these people going crazy. Ah. And in that video, I saw one of my boys. I saw one of my boys, and I'm like, oh, wow. Okay, so I, I screen recorded the part of the video that I saw him in, he, and I, I, I sent it to him. I was like, hey, I, I see I see you in the King Sid video. And he read it, but he, he didn't reply. And I, I sent it to him on uh, social media, so that you know how you can see when people read the message and whatever. So I sent it to him on there in a the DM, and he didn't reply. I'm like, okay, cool. I, I, don't, I don't care. It, it's not a big deal. It's not a small deal. It's not a deal at all to me that he didn't reply. Okay, cool. So then, just last week, and again, I sent him this message two months ago. Last week, he responded to me with a thumbs up and then said, hey, can you, uh, help, can you help your boy out? Can you send me $60 on Cash App? So I was like, what? Like, I, I read the message and I didn't reply. I just, I, I just left it. Because um, I was like, where, where are you coming from with asking for <laughs> Okay, whatever. So then, I think it was three days after that. Because it's going into this week. Three days after that, I see his stories, and he's at Disney World with his girl, with his kids. Hey, go to Disney World, have fun. But if you at Disney World, I don't think you really needed $60. Like, I just, it, it, it didn't click for me. It didn't click at all. How are you asking me for $60, but then the next week you show up at Disney World, he got Jay, he got some nice shoes on too. Now he got some Jays on, had a nice little outfit and whatnot. But like, 60 and two kids, two kids at Disney. That's bread. I don't know if he took his third, but that's going for two people alone at Disney World. That's a lot of money. That's a whole lot of money. But for four people, ooh, ooh you got to you got to break bread, man. So I, I was just like, yeah, when I saw that and every time I see it, because I've been seeing the stories every day. I'm like, man, he, he's spending some time out there in Orlando. It's not cheap. But anyway, something else that's not cheap is apparently Ravens offense. Now, when you think about them being ranked eighth in the NFL, I tried to think like, man, who they paying? Who they paying? But then I thought about it. I was like, oh, okay. Ronnie Stanley. Ronnie Stanley is making a significant amount of money. Uh, he got his deal a couple of years ago, and of course, it's definitely kicked in uh, by now. 
Um, so he's making a significant amount of money. Mark Andrews. Mark Andrews is in the second year of his deal. Uh, so in that second year of a deal, that's when stuff starts really kicking in. And definitely in the third and fourth year and so on and so forth. So Mark Andrews is another one. But also, uh, the guy who got a significant raise this offseason uh, with the Ravens picking up his fifth year option. Uh, that would be one quarterback, Lamar Jackson, who counts about 23 mil uh, on the cap. So I, I, I think that if, uh, if Lamar was still like making the money that he was making before, then uh, Ravens probably wouldn't be up there. They probably wouldn't be number eight at all. Maybe, they, maybe that them being 16 would be a lot more realistic. Um, but with Lamar Jackson on that fifth year option, that raised up everything by a lot. But those are really the only heavy, heavy hitters that I can think of off the top of my head that are getting paid like that uh, by Ravens offense. But then you think, hold up, there are a lot of other guys who are on second and third NFL contracts too. You look at Nick Boyle, even though he did just take a, 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 a pay cut um, he still counts significantly. Morgan Moses, his deal is worth like five mil or five point five mil a year. Um, Patrick McCarry, his deal is worth like five point five or five mil a year. I always forget. Uh, I know him and Morgan Moses, their deals uh, are about the same average per year. Um, they got a first round pick uh, that is going to be on the field in Tyler Lindenbaum. Um, they got a former first round pick, uh, first round pick from last year, uh, in Rashad Bateman. Um, Gus Edwards, his deal is worth, I think it's five mil per. I think it's five mil per year. Um, who else? Oh, Kevin Zyla. Kevin Zyla, I know he's making a significant amount of money too. I, I forget about him being paid. But other than that, besides those guys, then everybody else is really, it's just a lot of little things adding up. Like, speaking at the running back position, or quarterback position, Tyler Huntley's on an exclusive rights free agent deal, so nothing crazy. Um, running backs, uh, J.K. Dobbins, second round pick, so not anything too crazy when it comes to money. Uh, Mike Davis just got signed to a free agent deal, nothing crazy. Justice Hill was a fourth round pick a couple years back, nothing crazy. Uh, fullback, Patrick Ricard, I think his cap hit is like 2 mil, 2 point something mil, something like that. So significant, but nothing like crazy, crazy. Uh, wide receiver, we talked about Rashad Bateman, Devin Duvin, a third round pick in 2020, nothing crazy. James Prochet, a sixth round pick, so nothing crazy. Tylen Wallace last year, a fourth round pick, so nothing crazy. Then uh, a lot of undrafted guys um, and tight ends. Talked about Mark Andrews and Nick Boyle, but after that, it's nothing crazy. You got Josh Oliver, and you then got your two rookies, Kyler and Likely. So, no. Offensive line, um, we talked about Ronnie Stanley. Uh, then left guard, you got uh, Ben Cleveland, uh, third-round pick last year, so nothing crazy. Excuse me, you got Tyree Phillips, third-round pick from two, three years ago. So No, two years ago. So, nothing crazy. Um, ben Powers. Uh, also nothing crazy. Backup center, uh, Tristan Colon Castillo, nothing crazy. Uh, right guard, we talked about Kevin Zeitler, and right tackle. Uh, we talked about Morgan Moses. Juwan James, I think his cap hit is like 1.2 or maybe 2 mil, something like that. So it's making an impact. Um, Daniel Falele, what was he, a fourth round pick this year? So uh, nothing crazy. Nothing crazy. So I guess with the Ravens, it's like, it's all the, the little things. It's, it's the little things that add up, that end up adding up to a big number. It's like when, and, and I, boy, I, I could tell you about this more than anybody. And it's something, it's like one of those things when you're in the moment, it's like, oh, I'm going to keep going. I'm, 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 I'm going to do my thing. But when you look back at it, it's like, ooh, yikes. And that's when it comes to picking up food. Whether you pick up food from fast food, whether you pick up food from a restaurant, either one. This is my weakness big time. Because I will, say for instance, we stop at Wendy's or something. Get my number six spicy chicken sandwich with no mayo. Get a fruit punch with light ice or get one of the little strawberry lemonades or the pineapple mango or whatever. So good. But, and, and you know, Wendy's was actually my very first job. And what's funny about Wendy's is that that was my very first job and I never, ever, not once, ever got tired of the food. Ever. Ever. 
And real quick, shout out to anybody that's ever worked or currently works at fast food because or in a food industry, period, because that is one of the hardest jobs ever. One of the hardest jobs because you're, you're seeing people face to face. You're communicating with people about something that they're getting ready to eat. And you know how people can be very specific when it comes to their food, whether fast food or at a restaurant. And some people can be nice about it. And some people can be very, very nasty about it. So anybody that's working with a fast food or a restaurant or whatever, kudos to you. Because I know you have to deal with a lot, a whole lot. So shout out to you for having patience. Because that if you don't got patience and you work there and you last more than a month, then that job is already built up your level of patience. But anyway, um, my weakness is food. We go to Wendy's, pick up food. On the, all right, cool. That's cool. Yeah. Yeah, it's only maybe like eleven, twelve dollars. Okay, cool. So then maybe that same day or maybe the next day, we may stop at McDonald's or something. And then maybe later on, we may go pick up, get get takeout, or sit down at a restaurant with food, either way. And I think, oh, it's just all these these little payments. It ain't it ain't nothing crazy. Maybe like ten dollars here, fifteen dollars there, thirty dollars there. But then you start seeing the balance. On the card, raise up. And it's like, whoa, 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 whoa. Where did all this come from? But it's all these little things that add up. So I, that's how it seems to me to be with the Ravens offense. It's a lot of little things that have been adding up. But, hey, let, let's hope that offense cashes in this year. Anyway, um, let's look at the other guys. First, the, the bottom five uh, offenses, most ex the bottom five most expensive offenses in 2022. Uh, so I guess the cheapest offenses in 2022. Number 28, the Houston Texans. Number 29, the Seattle Seahawks. Number 30, the Atlanta Falcons. Number 31, the Pittsburgh Steelers. Mm. Number 32, even with the Mitch Trubisky deal. Number 32, the Chicago Bears. Okay, so those are the bottom five, the, the most cheapest uh, offenses in 2022. Now, the top 10, number one is Detroit. Who is Detroit paying? Are they still paying uh, Matt Stafford or something? I know Jared Goff, he make a lot of money, but who, who are they paying? Is, is Hawkinson on a second deal? I didn't think he was yet. Who are they paying in Detroit? Who's, who's, who's making all that money in Detroit? I don't know. Y'all got to let me know about that one, man. Maybe they were like, you know what, for Detroit, we're just going to count the whole team on here. We ain't even going to count just off. Maybe we count the whole team. I don't know. But anyway, um, number two, the Dallas Cowboys. Okay. Dak Prescott getting paid, Ezekiel Elliott getting paid, Michael Gallup getting paid, their tight ends on the franchise tag, CeeDee Lamb with first round pick. I know they're paying like two of them offensive linemen. I know one retired, but, and then Leo, Leo Collins, he went to, uh, he just got cut and he went to the Bengals. But, so yeah, I, okay, I, 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 I could see that. Washington. Now, this was, this was from five days ago, so I think this was before the Terry McLaurin deal. So I know Carson Wentz, obviously, making a significant amount of money. Um, Oh, Curtis, they, they, I forget they, they got Curtis Samuel too. Um, but yeah, I think this was before Terry McLaurin deal went through. So wow. Who, who else is Washington paying? I don't know. Number four, the Tennessee Titans. Tannehill, he's, he's getting paid. Um, and I think the earliest that they can get out of his deal without it really like killing their cap is either after this year or next. I think it's next year though. I think it's next year, not, not this offseason, but the next. Uh, but anyway, um, so Tannehill's getting paid. Derrick Henry. Other than that, I couldn't tell you. Oh, well, does Robert Woods, what kind of contract is Robert Woods on? Did they give him a new deal? Because they sure ain't give A.J. Brown a new deal. <laughs> they, they shit him out. They say, you gone. You out of here, buddy. Uh, so I don't know. Um, number five, Arizona. Kyler Murray ain't getting paid yet. He's a number one overall pick, so he's making significant money, but he ain't getting paid yet. He will be like any day now. Um, so over the next couple of weeks, he'd probably get his contract. DeAndre Hopkins was once the highest paid NFL wide receiver. Now with these new wide receiver deals, he's not anymore, but he's still making a lot of money. Um, other than that, Hollywood's on his fourth year. AJ Green, like on his 30th year. Um, who else do they got that's making bread like that? I don't know. I couldn't tell you, man. Uh, Kansas City. So Kansas City, Patrick Mahomes, Travis Kelce. Is, are they still paying Tyreek Hill some money? Because they sure shipped him off, but maybe he's still on the book somehow, some way. Uh, Orlando Brown Jr., he's on the franchise tag. Uh, man, I, I don't know who else is really getting paid like that. 
Maybe one of the offensive linemen. Because they, 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 they went crazy like a couple years ago. Uh, well, they, they, I mean, Chiefs, they usually go crazy every year. But th- this year they kind of calmed down a little bit. But, uh, so, well, I guess it was crazy shipping Tyreek Hill off. They were like, you know what, we ain't paying you that bread. You deserve it, but we ain't paying it to you. Anyway, um, Chiefs are number six. Number seven is New England. John O. Smith and Hunter Henry, those are the only ones I could think of. Other than that, who else? I own oh, maybe one of their offensive linemen. Because one, oh, one of their offensive linemen, I think it's a guard that's getting paid a significant amount of money. And he's been there for, like, for a while, too. I cannot think of his name, though. Anyway, uh, New England number seven, Baltimore number eight. We've obviously covered those guys. Uh, number nine, oh, number nine is Cleveland. We, we are under Cleveland? Wow. Well, they, they get, well, actually, yeah. And this was actually before the Baker Mayfield trade. Well, <laughs> even though Cleveland, they still paying Baker. Oh, how do we get under Cleveland if Cleveland gave Deshaun Watson a, well, oh, you know what? It's probably the, the cap hits this year because Deshaun Watson's cap, I mean, yeah, his uh, salary this year is only one mil. Because, you know, they, they were trying to prepare themselves just in case he missed the whole year. They were like, oh, no, 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 it's okay, Deshaun Watson. You missed the whole year, that's fine. You only miss out on a million dollars. See, it's nothing. Um, so, yeah, I, I didn't think about that. But they just paid their tight end. Uh, the guy who, in Baltimore, at M&T Bank Stadium, oh, David Njoku, where it was not a touchdown catch last year. That was not a touchdown catch. He dropped it. It was a drop. But anyway, they paid him. The offensive line, they, they had paid the old offensive line, guys. And they, they Jedrick Willis is the first-round pick. Um, again, still paying Baker Mayfield. Nick Chubb, he getting paid. Kareem Hunt, yeah, a little bit. Amari, you got Amari Cooper. Um, Donovan Peoples-Jones ain't making that much money. David Bell's a rookie. Um, Harrison Bryant, a second or third-year tight end. Um... But, yeah, I, I would have thought that they would have been over the Ravens by far. I really would have thought they would have been over the Ravens by far. Is this list accurate, man? I, I'm sorry. I don't know about this one from one sharp, sharp man. I don't know, man. This so It just don't seem like it's accurate. I don't know. Anyway, and number 10 is the San Francisco 49ers. And that's uh, with Jimmy Garoppolo. He's making a lot of money. Uh, he probably about to get cut or traded any day now, though. Um, we'll see what happens once the uh, Deshaun Watson ruling is established. Um, but yeah, where else he gonna go? There's Cleveland for Jimmy Garoppolo. Where else he gonna go? Who else is gonna trade for him? I don't, I don't know, man. Like I can't think of who who needs a quarterback right now. Anyway, um, the 49ers, Jimmy Garoppolo, Trey Lance is a first round. Was he like number three overall? Well, he is super high, but he he's so he. Be significant amount of money. Oh, George Kittle. Um, oh, the 99 overall left tackle. Trent Williams. Used to play for Washington, but he said they were doing nasty business over there. So Trent Williams. Um, mm, who else? Oh, well, Debo. But Debo, what was Debo? Like a second round pick? So he ain't making nothing crazy, crazy right now. But, um, yeah, I, I can't think of anybody else. Brandon, no, not a uke. I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, that was a fun exercise, trying to think of anybody who's getting paid from them other teams, too. You know, you, when you think of people getting paid on your old, own team, yeah, that's one thing. But when you try to think of other teams, ooh, that's, that's an exercise right there in itself. And that was tough. And I probably got about... Probably got about like maybe like mm, eight point seven out of ten wrong, uh, but it's okay. Anyway, team, keep it clean. I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. And hey, I guess Ravens spending that money on offense too, right? Let's hope that it translates and they actually cash in.